Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Always Shipper in the Demeter. It is still scary. Uh, if you saw the test drive video, I did a fairly good rundown of its various skills and abilities, I think. Uh, I did not get to show off its uh, uh, melee uh, accelerator skill that gives it its boost back if it bounces off of something else's melee twice. Uh, also forgot to show off the flap booster, but flap booster, fairly common skill at this point, hopefully not an issue. You know, just if you hold the jump button while you are boosting, you will be able to get off the ground. It also, of course, has a heavy attack that it was just charging. That's probably a good example of the lack of maneuver armor right there, though it, I think it was just coming out of a boost, so even with maneuver armor, if so, that is, uh, that is a thing. But yeah, it has a lot of good melee skills. It also has three sets of funnels it can fire at once while boosting. Yeah, so yeah, I can just fly up the, to the rooftop to go oh, after this prototype Stark Dagon. And let's see, missed the, uh, missed the neutral. But now, of course, since the Proto Stark tackled, it uh, had no boost uh, to defend against the uh, melee combo, and yeah, three melee hits took it out. Uh, this DJ Traversia just took a lot of damage. Yep, got a couple of shots in on feet, I think, but they may have been eaten by iframes. Uh, this has nothing to do with anything going on in this round at the moment, but I had the laggiest round I've ever seen earlier this afternoon trying to get a request. Didn't work out for their quest, obviously, but there was like a solid one second pause after everything I did before damage was registered. It was infuriating. But uh, I saved some footage from that that may show up somewhere. But there is Zeta Gundam 3A. You can tell by the stripes on the legs, even though it is in fairly standard Zeta colors. Uh, also, the fact that just nobody much runs the Zeta Hyper Mega Launcher type anymore. It kind of needs a buff. But yeah, there is the 3A, and there goes the 3A. Yeah, this, the, there's, there is uh, not much that really, uh, I think, is a serious uh, uh, threat to this, you know, in a, in a you know, head-to-head -head single combat situation. There's plenty of other ways you can uh, go after it. And if you have a heavy stagger, you're ready to unload on it. That will definitely help. But, yeah, trying to pull back. Got a shot in on the uh, prototype Stark Jagan again up there, but... Yeah, just managing to align it up can be difficult. But since it basically has that big, like, you know, grab slash, you know, scorpion attack, it that works pretty well. It really does kind of remind me of scorpion, the way it has the uh, the binders that all just kind of move in like pincers in the tail together. Yeah, got it got, uh, it got uh, surrounded a little bit there, and that is pretty much, like, the best way to handle it, I'm going to say. It's usually the best way to handle raids, honestly. But... Yeah, uh, ally planted bomb at the enemy base. Uh, whether or not that's uh, you know going to be a lot of help in the long run remains to be seen. That all depends on how well the allied team can stick together and keep fighting and hopefully uh, not take too many losses while they wait for that bomb to go off. It can give them a lead, or uh, depending on how this uh, next thirty some seconds goes, it can it may just get them caught up with. Uh, uh, caught up with the enemy team, so we'll see how that works out. But yeah, just so much. Uh, there's just so much this thing can do. Good backflip there, and good melee combo against that Mark II. I think it uh, managed to sneak in one hit, just barely, and that's. It does Mark II, I believe, does have priority three, but you know it's difficult to say whether or not that's going to actually, uh, uh, you know, allow it to clash with this too much. Uh, just latency. Latency is the thing. But, yeah, that's the sentence I was actually trying to say before I just went into bladder mode, is that, yeah, it also has priority three, but sometimes because of latency you can uh, sneak in a hit against something that has equal or even higher priority to you uh, without, uh, without uh, initiating a clash, which would, again, because of that uh, boost refill skill, would definitely be to the Demeter's advantage. But, Three and a half minutes left. The bomb did pretty much, it pretty much caused break even. It, it's there at about the same disadvantage they were before uh, the whole thing happened. So yeah, just better to just everybody stick together and you know fight it out. Hopefully, but yeah. Like I said, all those funnels that can fire while boosting, 
has so many attacks, and there's just... That... That Proto Stark went sailing right past, and just, it did, uh, and it managed to get the tackle. Also, it did maybe 1300 damage with the counter tackle, because I believe the hit points on this are 21k. So yeah, the, it, it took, like, basically no damage. But yeah, the, okay, yeah, the Cubile was, uh, was paying attention, because you, uh, yeah, like I said, the, the, like, kind of, like extended claws there as before the de before the heavy attack really is uh, a good uh, really is a tell if you're paying attention that's like one of the biggest uh, disadvantages or one of the biggest basically saving throws you have against it when uh, uh, when you're uh, you know stuck in one-on-one -on -one combat yeah I'm pretty sure those various beam attacks yeah gonna be enough to knock that 3a out of the sky did not quite catch it because of the ledge, but yeah, that, uh, again, this thing is just really strong. Oh, and there's the special tackle that I forgot to show off in the video, too. I, be, I, to be honest, I was so impressed by the thing, I, I forgot a couple of, like, significant things. Yeah, tr uh, trying to get away there, but yeah, knocked out of the sky, and everybody, uh, everybody was ready to, uh, ready to strike back there. So, yep, Traversia uh, got it, but yeah, this, again, this, this thing is really good. It maybe is not as overwhelming as I uh, thought it might be la uh, last night when I did the uh, test drive, but yeah, it's it's pretty solid. Night before, actually. Time is, time is, uh, time has no meaning at this point, but uh, yeah, about a minute left. Unless somebody is at their at the Allied base, it just all comes down to fighting. Allied team does seem to be a little bit all over the place, which is a shame. But okay, I'm not sure how that Traversia took the damage that didn't end up on its face. But there you go. But yeah, okay, yeah, they they are just all looking to focus uh, this thing. Yeah, and there's the base tackle, the uh, uh, the kick. Good combo there. Looks like it hit the shield. Good time to get away and get back to the team. Almost, yeah. And this this is where funnels can really, uh, really turn things around. Yeah, because you can do a ton of range damage from a distance, get the lead, and hopefully be far enough back to keep it without being in danger. There's somebody back there with almost no uh, health, but there's only 20 seconds left and a 70 point lead to maintain, and some people on low health. But it got got, that's good. Yeah, they have the lead. Can they keep it for 10 more seconds? Best to keep fighting in this situation, because yeah, they just got a uh, just got a big hit, and yeah, unless somebody gets that last kill, which I think they might have done, but also I think somebody else may have gotten a kill on the enemy side, so was it a win? It was a win! Nice. Yeah, the, this this is gonna be an interesting thing to fight. And yeah, shipper swept the board. 6,000 out of the 18,000 points. 7 kills. 100, uh, 156,000 damage, I think it was. Yeah, so. Again, this thing is a monster. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! But yeah, if you're fighting one of these, I would stay near the uh, uh, any suit you may have with Heavy Stagger. And I would be uh, just... You know, absolutely prepared as a team the way that team was to light it up when you see it, because it's definitely going to be one of those raids that if you leave it alone, you're going to have a problem.